What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I want to discuss the big events we have coming up in the next six months. So, a lot of you guys are disappointed, yes I know, you probably should be, Black Friday is not going to be Profit Orbs, and this is the first year that DH Games has decided to not mess with the four week schedule now that Imp's Adventure got put into the lineup. So if you guys remember, earlier this year, right at Easter time, they gave us the brand new event of Imp's Adventure on Easter. That is typically, typically Profit Orbs. But they gave us a brand new event. And since then, they have not touched the schedule even one single time. So, basically with the live stream info we did get the other week, my belief is they are never going to touch the four week schedule again for them. I, I mean, at least that's what I think. Is that true? Is that what they say? No, this is purely my speculation, my beliefs, what I think is going to happen. So that does significantly influence how we go about saving our resources, mainly profit orbs and a little bit heroic scrolls, but not so much. The big one here is talking about profit orbs with maybe even just regular wishing coins as well so let's start it off with what events are going to be lining up with big holidays this year so thanksgiving we do know thanksgiving is going to be imps adventure supposedly there's a free-to-play artifact to make up for the fact that black friday is not a profit orb event we'll have to see uh black friday is the following week with heroic scrolls so this is also something to consider. We just finished our four normal faction lineup with Fortress as the last one. Now all factions have had the same number of heroes. But we have this extra month here, right here. Normally, what happens is Christmas, we have a lighter dark hero. And then Chinese New Year, we have a lighter dark hero the next month. But the way these events are lining up are very, very interesting. So... Black Friday Heroic Scroll event. We don't know what faction or what type of hero we're going to get. Then comes Christmas. Christmas is also a heroic summoning event. So, I almost think we might get a lighter dark hero next month. And then also at Christmas, the other lighter dark hero. I feel like they're going to change it up. Because when we continue to look at the events, New Year is a Profit Orb event. That one could be a very good one to use your save Profit Orbs if you don't use them for the Ticks event coming next week. Now, Chinese New Year and Valentine's Day, if I did my math correctly on the weeks, Chinese New Year and Valentine's Day are on the same week this, uh, this year again. I think it was this year as well. But lines up with imps adventure so unless they do something where they make it a two-week event where they could the first week will be imps adventure the second week will be heroic scrolls that would be 100 normal which would lead me to believe that next month at black friday we're going to get another normal faction hero christmas we're going to have a light or dark and then chinese new year we're going to have a light or dark hero as well but the problem with that is if they have that gap between Christmas and Chinese New Year this year, that means there is a heroic summoning event between those two that we would have to have another hero in. So this is going to get really, really confusing really quickly, guys, because before they would just force the schedule to line up with what they traditionally do. Now, I have no clue. So this is going to be really interesting to see how it plays out. And then, of course, to wrap it up, Easter is also a heroic scroll event. So almost every big event is going to be heroic scrolls from here to the next six months. Now, that does sound bad at first talk. Like when we first say it, that does sound really, really bad. But the one thing you have to remember this year, and there's a big, big butt here, big old butt. Normal events have gotten extremely better compared to the previous two to three years of this game. So if you guys are newer players, you haven't been around long. Essentially, every single event besides the big three to four events every year that they used to do were complete and utter garbage. Now, you might say, hey, Barry, Halloween, that's a pretty garbage event. If you really look at it compared to old events years back, it's not horrible it's not great either it's kind of like middle of the road 
but we've had so many events in the past year that have given us opportunities to get free pay to win artifacts that we haven't had to wait for that black friday because in case you guys didn't know black friday and easter were the two events every year that free to play players or low spenders could save a resource and get a pay to win artifact but there's a big difference now they are literally raining pay to win artifacts down on us for free to play and especially for like spenders i mean spenders are getting them all over the place it doesn't matter if you're low mid or high spender you're getting tons of artifacts free to plays are definitely getting more artifacts but you now have to decide what are we gonna do with our profit orbs and honestly it's just gonna come down to personal preference in my opinion where are you going to be using your profit orbs wherever and on whatever hero is going to give you the most progress because the other thing that we have finally gotten this year i know you guys are probably just getting bored of looking at this face all the time but the one thing that we are getting is new heroes are hitting profit orb events two to three months after they release that never ever happened in the past it would take forever to get copies plus we have these five star selection chests now as well we got lots of ways to get newer heroes nowadays that you don't necessarily have to rely on heroic summoning events because you can get the hero two months down the road and two months isn't a very long time whereas previously sometimes you're waiting up to half a year to get hero copies so Profit orbs, I would say spend them on events that you feel is good value for you and where you are on your account. Don't follow this, oh, well, I have to save for this event anymore. You need to try to decide who's on my team, what heroes do I have, what heroes do I want, and is this hero going to help my team out? If it is, plus it has some nice bonus rewards part of the event, then I would say go for it. Definitely go for that profit orb event now the next thing to talk about is wishing coins so two times this year we have actually gotten free to play events that include the normal wishing coins that have given us free to play or pay to win artifact artifacts for 100 free just for doing the loop so in the past i always recommended hey you know just do a loop of wishing coins every single month get those resources but now my recommendation save up so you have four full loops completely saved up and then every month afterwards you can probably do one loop to get more resources artifact fodder whatever but make sure you have those four because i made the mistake earlier this year that i actually missed out on one of those artifacts because i don't want to spend money on a wishing fountain event there's usually not great rewards it's not worth it value wise value wise but missing out on that felt really bad and that's where i've actually decided in game now i have like 1200 coins and so from here on out every wishing fountain event i'm going to use one loop and keep saving a full four loop completion because i don't want to miss out on artifacts because like i said they're giving artifacts out so often and so much that you don't want to miss opportunities and lastly it does seem like a lot of big events are lining up with imps adventure that's a good thing though because if they are going to give decent rewards you should be able to get a lot of them perfectly free to play now the one bad thing with imps adventure is you cannot save up dice to do like two to three completions four completions so if they do attach pay to an artifacts and good things behind completing like two to three loops then yes that does really suck because that means you cannot do it free to play and you want to see events that free to play can actually get done because that's going to make a healthier game environment now lastly we have heroic scrolls heroic scrolls are what used to be the absolute tip tippy top premium currency which are now the core of transcendence but you still want to save your heroic trolls for the next light or dark hero because even though we've seen heroes like ticks and things like that the light and dark heroes that we've had this past year like drake like russell uh carrie i won't count tara that was last year plus but those three heroes are meta defining heroes you still want to save up to try to do at least one full four completion event every single year so you do want to save up your heroic scrolls and not spend them in between events people who are building the other heroes 
are going to be those spenders and those whales that can do it three to four times at least a year if not every month like some people do so that is my plan going forward profit orbs is the biggest one though is i feel like you need to make the judgment yourself and not have someone else tell you when to use your profit orbs is it a hero you want is it a hero that's going to help your team is it a hero that's going to help you in progress i mean like ticks helped everybody with tower of oblivion and Aspen dungeon you have to make that decision yourself in my opinion so hopefully this helped you guys out hopefully it gave you a little bit of a potential game plan for the next six months because we didn't even touch on the upcoming void heroes the transcendence heroes queen and then asmodel because that's a whole nother topic to go over but hopefully this gives you a good plan seeing that a lot of people are disappointed in black friday so hopefully you guys enjoy this one make sure you hit that subscribe button i'm gonna try to do almost like a monthly update to this and try to give you guys more more feedback more opinions i guess i should say on what i think you should be doing but yeah it's time it's time to stop following the you must save for x event with profit orbs and it's time to start thinking what works for my account so hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time